What's going on, Sartorialist? Welcome back to the Holsey Style. It's been a few weeks since I last spoke to you guys, and since then, spring, at least here in California, has sprung, which you probably could have inferred because I'm wearing my short sleeve camp collar shirt, and I'm also about as red as a fucking apple. I've been getting out, enjoying as much sun as I can while it's still tolerable here in California before very shortly it reaches into the 100 pluses. And I just hope sincerely that wherever you are in the world, you are enjoying the commencement of spring as well. But what we're going to focus in on today is my experience with Stefano Cow's bespoke ties. I'm going to be talking to you guys about my motivations for placing an order with Stefano Cow, some of the specifications and reasons why I chose those specifications, and also my experience after the fact, after receiving and wearing the tie, so that you can make the most informed choice for yourself whether you want to place an order with Stefano Cow. With that being said, Let's get into it. At the beginning of this year, Stefano released his newest collection of luxury ties. And I have to say from the start, I was very impressed with the breadth of tie designs and patterns. Stefano does a remarkable job of keeping the great tradition alive, of reviving older tie patterns that most companies today simply would not use because they are not mass marketable. Many, but not all, of Stefano's tie designs are 90s inspired, which is why that I think I've come to love his work as much as I do. For those of you who have been following my channel very recently, you will know that this is an era that I am currently enamored with. Of his 209 ties, Stefano offers nearly every pattern conceivable in usually two colors. He has flower motifs, medallions, geometric ties, paisley ties, houndstooth ties, stripe ties, and even for those who don't necessarily appreciate the designs, he also has solids. Although it was difficult to choose among so many great and interesting options, I finally decided to go with the sliding window motif double face printed tie. The reason is simply because I love this abstract pattern. It looks to me like windows or kind of almost oddly like burgundy honeycombs falling down a telephone wire. It's just a very interesting and cool looking tie that you wouldn't see most men wear. It also kind of reminds me of a, a tie that a detective would wear in the 90s with say, you know, a charcoal gray flannel suit. And in fact, Stefano informed me that the original design for this tie comes from his family archive in the 90s. So it's remarkable to me to think that there were men walking around the 90s wearing a tie exactly like this. It's very cool to me that it's true to tradition. Stefano also informed me that the fabric was heavy saglione, I hope I said that correctly, 40 ounce twill. In other words, the fabric was quite hefty, which I desired. I had purchased two ties from Stefano Cow's previous collection, and the fabric was quite thin. So for this iteration, I wanted something a little bit heftier. As far as the bespoke specifications are concerned, Stefano offers three making options. You can have your tie made three-fold hand-rolled, three-fold self-tip, or seven-fold hand-rolled for an additional 35 euros. Now, I chose for this tie the three-fold self-tip because, as I mentioned previously, I'd purchased two ties from Stefano Cow's previous collection, and I had chosen the option of three-fold hand-rolled, and I really didn't like the contrast between the blank tip and the rest of the tie. I really wanted it to look uniform. So for this tie, I chose the three-fold self-tip. And I also didn't want it to be too thick as you might get with the seven-fold hand-rolled. Now, as far as the length and width are concerned, I chose 148 centimeters for the length, which comes out to about 58 inches. And then for the width, I chose eight centimeters, which is about 3.15 inches. So that's about the average size you would get for a tie purchased from, say, for example, Brooks Brothers. 
Now, you can also have a monogram put on the tie. I chose not to do that because I just kind of find monograms to be a little bit too bougie for me. But if that's your thing, you can have that put on. Altogether, shipping included, the total was $160. And it took Stefano about a week and a half to craft the tie and two weeks for it to arrive at my doorstep. I am very, very, very happy with this tie. It came exactly to my bespoke specifications, three-fold self-tip, about 58 inches long, 3.15 inches wide, and I'm also just really, really impressed with the heft and fabric here. It is as Stefano described. The fabric is hefty enough so that I don't have the tie blowing around if there's a breeze, but it's also not so heavy that I can't get a good solid tie knot with a strong, good looking dimple. I also just feel when I'm wearing this tie like I'm wearing a piece of tradition, knowing that there were people walking around in the 90s wearing a tie just like this one makes me feel connected to, honestly, a part of my childhood. There's something very interesting and nostalgic about wearing a tie like this. And I will say, that it's really really unique i have people come up to me and ask me about the tie all the time like oh where did you get that tie that's a very interesting looking tie so there's also that as well you can use it as stefano would say as a conversational tie to break the ice between people now the last point that i want to address is the cost because i suspect that a lot of you are going to counter that that's a really large price for a tie 160 dollars but my argument to you would be that you can be assured when you are ordering from Stefano Cow that you're not only going to get high quality customer service, fast craftsmanship and shipping, but that you're also going to be wearing something that's fundamentally unique. The reality is, is that the tie designs and patterns that Stefano offers are not offered anywhere else. And you can take a certain amount of pride in knowing that you're wearing something like that, knowing that you're doing something that's just a bit different from all of the men out there, or at least the men who still wear ties. So there you have it, guys. That is my review of Stefano Cow's Bespoke Ties. If you enjoyed this content, hit that like button, smash subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be informed when I drop more videos on the Holsey style. Until next time, guys.